Hello and welcome to That's English. Hello. What are you wearing, Annabelle? Just a top. Why? It's got a brand name on it. Yes, top brand. What's the problem? Well, you're advertising a multinational on TV. I don't think that's a good idea. But I'm wearing this because today's programme is all about advertising. Ah, OK. In the documentary today, we meet Sarah Tate, who works for an advertising agency and designs advertising campaigns. Campañas publicitarias. As you watch, try to answer this question. How do advertisers know if their campaigns are successful? Now watch. Advertising is all around us. There are ads on neon signs, video screens, buildings, on taxis and buses. Sarah Tate works for Mother, an advertising agency for some of the world's best-known brands. The most important thing for any agency to do is to listen to consumers and really understand what it is that they want to hear. My role is to really represent the voice of the consumer in the creative process. This means that we say the most interesting and appealing things for consumers and make the advertising more effective for our clients. Sarah has to help clients understand the business world more clearly. She also tells them what the competition are doing. And then we'll consult with them on how they should best spend that marketing money. If a company knows firstly where it is and secondly where it wants to be, the creative process can begin. The writer and the art director work together to transform the ideas into words and pictures. The biggest challenges are selling those things which are very intangible. Your gas, your electricity, your bank and your financial services, your mobile phone network maybe. But because they're so intangible, they're hard to make exciting. How do advertisers know if their campaigns are successful? The way that we know if the campaigns really work is ultimately if they sell things. We set objectives at the start and we can measure them at the end. It's much less about what you like or what a client likes or doesn't like, and much more about is it going to work for the people you've designed it for in the market. So one of the most exciting and the most difficult things about working in advertising is that you have to respond to what's going on in culture outside of you. But that also means that as things change, uh, you have to respond to them. Advertising is a creative industry. So whilst marketing is designed to give business success, the thing that people respond to are ideas. So you always do have to look for a little bit of magic. But the truth of it is, you never quite know. You never quite know. So did you find the answer to the question? How do advertisers know if their campaigns are successful? Let's watch again. The way that we know if the campaigns really work is ultimately if they sell things. So advertisers know the campaign works because they sell more of their products. Yes, that's right. But Sarah also said that it's sometimes difficult to know exactly. Yes, that's a good point. For example, if they are advertising cold drinks and it's hotter than usual, they may sell more anyway. De cualquier manera. Hmm. As Sarah said, you never quite know. Nunca se sabe. Hmm. Ashley, mm. do you buy products because you've seen an advertisement for them? Well, I think I buy a product because it's good or I need it, but sometimes because the advert is good. I don't know. Yes, you never know. Well, we asked a group of people from different English-speaking countries these questions. What is the best ad you have ever seen in your country? And do you buy or use the product in that ad? The best advertisement that I've seen in England has got to be for charities. Cancer Research UK. 
The best commercial I've ever seen was about Tits Roll, which was a small chocolate candy cake, which I used to eat all the time. The best advertisement I've ever seen was about this uh, mobile phone. It was really nice and funny and really impressive, so I bought the phone. The best I've ever seen was Guinness, and yes, <laughs> I do love to drink Guinness. There was a commercial on when I was little um, that was for peanut butter, and I just really liked the song. Um, and yes, I guess I do have a lot of peanut butter now. The best advertisement I remember from my childhood was a crisps commercial. And uh, yes, I ate rather a lot of them. So most people say that they buy or use the products from the best advertisement or TV commercial they have ever seen. Yes, and the products were very different. Chocolate cake, a mobile phone, beer, crisps, peanut butter, mantequilla de cacahuete. <laughs> One girl also mentioned an intangible product, a charity, una organización benéfica. So... Advertising really works. Absolutely. I think some of the adverts on TV are fantastic. Better than the TV programmes. <laughs> yes, I agree. Our episode from the street today shows that advertising is effective. Mm. Mr Patel is worried because business is bad at the moment and customers aren't coming into his shop. But his daughter Chandra has an idea. Yes, a special offer. Una promoción. When you watch the film, try to find the answer to this question. What's the special offer? What's the special offer? Hello, my name is Mr. Patel. The life of a shopkeeper isn't easy. Business is very slow. I've been open for two hours and I've only had one customer. If this situation continues, I'll have to close the shop and sell it. I've got an idea. Look, what do you think? Free chocolate bars? They cost me 28p each and I'm not making any money at the moment. But if people like the offer, they'll come into the shop and spend two pounds and probably more. Try it, Dad. Believe me, it will work. Anyway, I've got to go now. School. Bye. See you later. Well, what do you think? Chandra says if I advertise this special offer, more customers will come into the shop. It's a crazy idea, and I'm sure it won't work. Well, let's try it so that Chandra isn't annoyed with me. Morning. Have you come for our special offer? Yes. Yes, I have. Good. Is that all? Um, a packet of biscuits, please. And, oh yes, some tea. Certainly. Uh, what kind of tea would you like? Clever girl, that Chandra. Like father, like daughter. Well, Mr. Patel looks very happy now. Hmm. What's the special offer? Did you get the answer? Let's watch again. Free chocolate bars? They cost me 28p each and I'm not making any money at the moment. But if people like the offer, they'll come into the shop and spend £2 and probably more. Yes, 
A free chocolate bar if you spend two pounds. Chandra's idea was brilliant. Lucky Mr Patel. He has a really clever daughter. Yes, that's why he says, like father, like daughter. And now, it's time for today's episode of Ben and Beth. Well, Annabelle, I'm afraid Ben won't like you today. Why? because he's decided to stop wearing clothes with brand names on them. Really? Why? Well, let's see. While you watch, try to find the answer to this question. Why does Ben think it's OK to wear branded trainers? Branded trainers. Zapatillas de marca. Why does Ben think it's OK to wear branded trainers? What are you doing, Ben? I'm cutting off the label from this T-shirt. And look at these. I'm not going to wear them. But why not? So that I don't advertise their products for them. Look at you. Why are you advertising Vivid? They aren't paying you to advertise their brand. No, they're not. They don't need to pay me. But why do you feel angry about this suddenly? You've got hundreds of clothes with brand names on them. Yes, I know. I just didn't think about it before. Now I've thought about it, I don't like it. Really? Well, I think my sweatshirt is cool. And if my sweatshirt advertises vivid, that's fine. OK. If you want to advertise these names, you can. Just don't ask me to advertise Vivid too. And look, turn around. What? You are advertising Yes Yes Jeans every time you walk down the street. And that's fine too. Well, if you don't want to advertise brands, throw away these branded pants and these branded jeans. Yes, um, OK. And these NB trainers. <laughs> I don't think shoes are as important as T-shirts and jeans. People don't really look at your feet. Ben is really impossible. <laughs> yes. What an excuse. Did you find the answer to the question? Why does Ben think it's OK to wear branded trainers? Let's listen again. I don't think shoes are as important as T-shirts and jeans. People don't really look at your feet. So his excuse is that people don't really look at your feet. Well, it's probably true. Really? I think Ben said that so that he doesn't have to stop wearing his favourite trainers. Are you wearing any branded clothes today, Nathan? No, I, I don't think so. Ah, yes, my pants. Do you want to see? No, thanks, Nathan. Well, that's all for today. Goodbye. See you in the next programme of That's English. Yes, see you. Goodbye. Bye-bye.